Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today I wanted to talk about an interesting game that I got a quick glimpse of in Bit Summit uh, 2023. This was a digital presentation, about a seven hour long presentation that took place over the weekend where they essentially got to showcase plenty of indie game developers showing off a lot of games that they are working on, specifically coming out of Japan. Uh, in Asia and some some places in Asia uh, where they're essentially were showcasing plenty of stuff that is coming to all platforms PlayStation uh, Nintendo Switch Steam some on Xbox uh, but there are plenty varied games one of the titles that caught my eyes was a, sh a game from Shuheisha Games and Magnus Games Studios called as of right now just Project Survival this is basically a code word for the game. It doesn't really have an actual name just yet. So usually when you see project, it's just something that they're working on. It's not necessarily, you know, a finished product. Uh, this is the same studio that just made RE Legend, a game that I did kind of cover in the alpha beta kind of like period. There was a demo out and stuff like that. So I did talk about it a little bit, uh, but they are doing something a little bit bigger this time around. Not necessarily just focused on the Nintendo Switch. As of right now, we do know this is a Steam game for PC. Um, they don't necessarily have a release date or anything like that. Presumably it will be 2024, 2025. And uh, of course, it looks early stages. Uh, but the reason why I'm talking about this is that because it basically looks like a version of something Monster Hunter related. Now, to be fair, they're not necessarily saying that. But if you look at the gameplay and you read their description, plenty of more is obviously yet to be revealed. But interestingly enough, they are taking a lot of cues from the gameplay aspect. At the same time, there is a lot of stuff you've seen in games like Genshin Impact, for example, which is, of course, a relatively popular game, so you can't necessarily fault them for trying to do something like that. But at the end of the day, they are calling this something like a one player solo experience or you can uh, offline experience or you can choose to play with 25 players online. They do have a little bit of an about description, so I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below for the official games page where they simply mentioned that project survival is an anime fantasy survival crafting monster taming open world adventure game where you can enjoy solo with friends embark on an epic journey in a thrilling fantasy survival game that will push your skills and, and strengths to the limit after a devastating destruction of the original world you find yourself stranded in an unknown universe teeming with dragons and all inspiring life forms it's up to you to adapt survive and thrive in this stunning new realm so it's basically taking the typical stuff you've seen in crafting games and of this nature again genshin for example that gives you plenty of options to be able to gather materials explore the world but also fight relatively cool looking creatures in your very own way they don't necessarily get into details regarding weapons or anything like that, but they do have plenty of key features. Once again, link in the description below for their official page. They mention explore the vast and beautiful world. Immerse yourself in a visual breathtaking world filled with lush forests, towering mountains, frozen peaks, and a mysterious set of ruins. Each corner of the realm holds a secret waiting to be uncovered, urging you to embark on a daring expedition to uncover its hidden wonders interact with and tame unique creatures forge a deep connection with the planet's indigenous creatures forming unique bonds and turning them into loyal companions each creature possesses distinct traits abilities and behaviors that can aid in your survival journey approach them cautiously and learn their patterns of patterns of attack and use your skills to tame and train them in companions or as mounts so if this is sounding a little bit like monster hunter stories that's because it kind of is a lot of people would say pokemon but that's not really what i'm seeing here they also mentioned that survive against the palerous wilds beware of the planet's monthly inhabitants ranging from colossal beasts to stunning predators engage in heart pounding battles against these formidable foes utilizing your tactical prowess 
and abilities of your trusted companions to overcome the tough challenges. Each encounter will test your survival skills, forcing you to adapt and strategize as you learn from your mistakes. So if the taming, you know, monsters feature sounds like Monster Hunter stories, then of course fighting the natural inhabitants and the masters of the world, the Palerous Wilds, is pretty much the typical Monster Hunter experience with a buddy or a pal. Pretty much the monsters that you tame will help you fight the actual big dangers of the world. Monsters you cannot tame will be those big ones that you cannot necessarily control. Uh, build bases and establish settlements, plan and build and fortify your own base and plenty of living spaces to establish a safe haven amidst the treacherous wilderness. Gather resources, construct structures, and customize your surroundings to suit your playstyle. Collaborate with every other player to create thriving communities or choose to forge your path as a lone survivor. Master the arts of crafting, harness the planet's abundant resources to craft powerful weapons, sturdy armor, and essential survival tools. Unlock intricate recipes and experiment with various combinations to create unique gear and enhance your abilities. Constantly improve your crafting skills to gain the edge over the harsh environment and dangerous creatures that roam the land. So not, of course, are you hunting down big ass massive monsters, but of course, you're crafting brand new gear out of their fallen parts. So, of course, they know what they're doing. Lastly, they mentioned complete uh, compete for valuable resources. Survival in a new world comes at a cost. Engage the intense competition and strategic encounters with other players as you vow for valuable resources, uh, resources spread across the map. Form alliances to dominate uh, resource-rich territories or engage in fierce battles to claim the rightfully what's rightfully yours. The survival of the fittest is the rule of the land. So in typical, you know, kind of like MMORPG type fashion, uh, you will be hunting down materials and of course have options to be able to kind of like, you know, get things done as a group and not necessarily have to rely, you know, on, you know, on the things that you basically do all on your own. So the game is trying to do a couple of things that we have seen plenty of other titles, you know, do in the past already. But I think the real interesting thing here is that, you, you know, united option of like, yes, you can have your own buddies and your own monsters kind of like come about and come together, you know, that you've been able to train. But at the same time, you know, you do have those big colossal creatures that will be, you know, roaming the land freely, full of resources, and you have to be able to kind of take them down. There's no you know, turning a Volcana into a buddy because that's just not really going to work. This is one of the criticisms that I've had from like Monster Hunter Stories, for example, where, you know, you can pretty much tame any monster, a Devil Joe or whatever, and it becomes a buddy. And it's like, that's not really ever going to work. That's not how those monsters work. Lore wise, that's just not really, you know, logical. But again, the, again, at the end of the day, that's not what that franchise is all about. So I certainly wanted to bring some attention to this game. First time that I saw it was at Bit Summit. I did try to look up some more details on this. A couple of screenshots that you should have been seeing already rotate in the background. But pretty much at the end of the day, this is the first time that we're hearing from it uh, from the Bit Summit um, presentation, and it looks interesting, man. I can't I can't say enough good things about what Ashuasia uh, Games is having. You know, putting together out there, you know, games that are interesting in their very own way. If you're brand new to my channel, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.